Hello from the Gold Ring Arts Journalism Program, Class of 2007. It's been a fantastic year full of life-changing experiences for all of us. As we prepare to charge ahead in our careers, we want to share with you some highlights from the past 12 months. I present to you the Gold Ring Arts Journalism Program Year in Review. The Issues for Arts Journalist class was a gateway to the Syracuse arts and writing scene. We got to tour publications like Bentley Hall Publishing, the Syracuse Post Standard, and the Syracuse New Times, which gave us a leg up in freelance opportunities and internship opportunities in the future. And we were also able to visit arts organizations like the Glimmerglass Opera in Cooperstown. Writing a story for The Mix, a Sunday arts insert in the Post Standard, helps you convert your reporting skills from the summer news writing boot camp class into finding a diamond in the rough. A story in the arts in Syracuse that's somewhat unexpected. It really helps to get your bearings in the city and to find something that you can lift the veil on and reveal for the first time. I wrote about the pipe organs in Syracuse, about the churches and on campus at SU. It was a really wonderful experience and it all wraps up with a launch party in September with all of the arts journalism faculty and all the bigwigs from Newhouse. It's kind of your first venture into the mainstream of Syracuse media. Oh, the faculty was great. Um, I really enjoyed meeting Janet and Johanna. What I really appreciated about what they offered was they really encouraged us to be thinking career-wise and really helped us develop what are our career skills, what are marketable to employers, where should we be looking for jobs. So it wasn't just this talking about arts in a fun vacuum, but how arts applies in the real world. And I, I really got a lot out of that. Heaven. I'm in heaven. Smithy Immersion doing more in a week and a half than people who live in the city doing a year. Broadway, museums, Jazz Lincoln Center. But then we got to bounce our ideas off those same critics we've been reading for years. One of the highlights of the New York Immersion actually came near the end of it. We attended a taping of The Daily Show and later that night had dinner with head writer Steve Bodo, who was actually a, an SU grad, and his father Warren, who was a member of the Gold Ring Board. It was uh, pretty amazing to have the interaction that we did with such a pop culture touchstone. For spring break, uh, we got to go to Ireland. It was a really great opportunity. We saw four plays, one of which was awesome. It was Oscar Wilde, and it was um, Salome. It was done sort of this avant-garde. You know, everyone was in mime face, and it was really cool. And that was at the Gate Theater. Another really cool thing about Ireland was the Writers Museum, where we got to see, you know, stuff like Samuel Beckett's typewriter and James Joyce's piano, and it was also really, really beautiful there. We got to go to the Aran Islands. We took a ferry. It was gorgeous, really green, rocky terrain. Um, and what they say about Ireland being very green, it's true. We about to get it, 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 get on down, 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 down. Yo, we about to get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get on down. One of my favorite things about the Goldring program is the freedom I had to design my own curriculum. Uh, on top of the journalism classes we had, I got to take a pop music seminar and history of rock class, and I also got to take a classically based uh, independent study in the music school. So while I was improving my writing in classes, I also had the chance to deepen and broaden my expertise in the field of music, which is what I studied in undergrad. So having that freedom to be outside of Newhouse was really fantastic. A phrase you're going to hear tossed around a lot at Newhouse is this notion of backpack journalism. And it really is important when you get out and start looking for jobs, they really are looking for people who can be involved in every part of the story. And the great thing about Newhouse is they really prepare you for that with the option of doing podcasts uh, for Pulse we had this year, which were really fantastic. It's a great thing to learn how to do, and a lot of um, editors are now looking for that capability in, in their writers. Um, and also being familiar with design wouldn't hurt. The nice open curriculum allows you to take different classes. I actually took a news design course so I could be prepared for that. And I think there are a lot of opportunities that you shouldn't miss out on. Don't focus just on the writing. Get a little bit of everything. My internship at the Post Standard was a great opportunity to get experience working in a daily paper. I got to cover everything from opera to the opening of a new sushi restaurant, and I got really good feedback from my editors. I did my internship in New York City at the Paley Center for Media, formerly the Museum of Television and Radio. It was a great experience. I met some amazing people in the industry. 
I got to watch documentaries and write, you know, reviews of them, and it was just really a good experience. I got to work with a group to organize seminars, and for me, it was the perfect fit of a place to work, and, and going to the city, obviously, every week is, is an amazing experience in itself. The capstone was pretty rewarding. You can pick essentially any topic you want. I chose graffiti and it was frequently difficult and frustrating to set up interviews, but the people I did meet were really interesting and enthusiastic and eager to help me out. So if you pick something you're really into, it becomes almost enjoyable. The capstone was a really great learning opportunity for me. I did my capstone about the Scottish invasion is what I like to call it because a lot of Scottish bands I noticed are becoming popular in the United States. Um, because I'm a music concentration, it was a great way to learn about how to contact people in the music industry. I learned so much about the music industry in general and how to deal with um, PR people. I got to talk to a lot of interesting bands and I just loved my topic and at the same time it required a lot of work and it was one of the hardest things I've ever done and the workshops are pretty brutal, but they're so worth it in the end. I honestly think enrolling in the Gold Ring program was probably the best professional decision I ever made. While I was here, I took some courses in the history of my genre and some courses actually doing the things that I would be reviewing other people for in the future. Um, and while I was here, I uh, got an internship through some of the connections I made with faculty members. And as a result of those connections and networking, this Friday I have three job interviews with three different companies, one in Princeton and two in New York. So I feel like I'm in a pretty good position uh, to enter the workplace from here. Hey, Bob, did you have fun with the Golding Arts Journalism cohort? John, we had more fun than you can shake a stick at. Really? Do you have any advice for the incoming cohort? <laughs> well, Armory Square's pretty cool. We all like going to Clark's. Yeah, I've hung out at Armory Square a lot, but that Ohm Lounge looks kind of weird. Well, you're wrong. Appearances can be deceiving. Ohm Lounge is totally awesome. Well, as a matter of fact, John, I believe you often go to baseball games. Uh, what is it, the Sky Chiefs? <laughs> Bob, you're totally lame. It's the Chiefs. They just changed the name. Get with it. Remember that time we went to Raquel's place and hit that piñata for a while? Yeah, that was awesome. I was pretty tired at the end. I didn't even hit it. <laughs> well, as you can tell, it's been an incredible year, one full of experiences that were grueling, rewarding, and fun. We want to thank Johanna Keller, Janet Anthony, Lola Goldring, and the many other wonderful people who have given us this opportunity. Best of luck to future Goldring Arts Journalism students. We'll see you in the field. Yeah.